us of all our nations that they will not reject the wisdom of God. Shall we pray? Jesus' name we pray. In Proverbs chapter 1, verse 1 through to 3, the proverb of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, desire to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive instruction of wisdom, and judgment and equity. We are going to pray again for the leaders of all the various nations that the Lord will give them this desire, endless desire for wisdom that is from above, that they will be able to receive instruction of wisdom and perceive words of understanding, shall we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray the fear of God in the heart and life of all the leaders of the nations. In Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, we are told, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Let us pray that all our leaders across the nations will possess the fear of God. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name we pray. In Exodus chapter 18, in verse 21, we are told, Thou shalt provide out all of the people, able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, leaders, are to be placed in the time of Moses to lead the people as they possess these qualities. We are going to pray as well that the leaders of every nation will possess this ability. There will be men such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, by the grace of God, such leaders God will place over our nations in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name we pray. We are still praying for the leaders of our nations. In Genesis chapter 20, verse 11, Abraham said, Because I thought 
surely the fear of God is not in this place. We are going to pray for our leaders. All the state national headquarters are in cities. And the people that dwell in cities, they dwell like the people in the land of Canaan. We are going to pray that God will give us leaders of in every nation living just life, leading exemplary life, that they will shun evil, selfishness, immorality, and lawlessness. Shall we pray for the leaders of our nation? In Jesus' name we are praying. A louder amen. Finally, we are praying for God's guidance over all the leaders of the various nations. In Psalm 25, verse 4, make me to know your ways. O oh Lord, teach me your path. Lead me in your truth. We are going to pray that the leaders of our every nation, by the grace of God, they will seek to be led in the way of God. Let's pray that God will show them the path of life, that God will instruct them and teach them in the way that they should go, that the Lord will guide them with his hands. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Father, we thank you for the prayer session. We thank you for the leaders of every nation. Thank you for, from now on, you are giving us men that fear God, lovers of righteousness, who will lead exemplary life, that we will all be able to lead a life that is worthy of glory, worthy of acceptation in your sight, in Jesus' name. We pray you will increase their fear and the fear of God in their lives. And your peace will reign in every nation in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. 